This is this should be an interesting one. We'll Just to be clear, bro <laughs> Brady says he didn't destroy the Steve. So you, d you don't want to spread some misinformation around here. Because that would mean that Steve's bad and we can't have that. Ooh, Jackson will be starting with Steve. This would be a f nice one. We'll, we'll start with Steve and we'll see where we go. And Brady's starting Byla. Yeah, a bit more icing out. Not quite losers quarters anymore. We're in a winners finals. Steve! Oh, thank you so much, Benthoven. I was really hoping. And Stabby Jacob, thank you so much. We we need the uh, we need the Steve memes in here. Jackson, can you make sure to just, you know, do a quick Steve at the start of uh, every... Yeah, of course. <laughs> What's my opinion on Spanish people? Um, great question, Embo. That's, that's a really great question. Um, I think I'll answer that uh, at a later date when, you know, I've met Spanish people. That would be great. But you know, no shade. Can't have any shade. If there's anything to go off of that uh, that song that Jackson was telling me about, uh, you know, being about that that Spanish guy, then uh, I gotta say that's that's pretty that's pretty epic. You're Spanish. Well, we haven't met uh, necessarily, but um, I gotta say, off peak, pretty pog. So, yeah, you know what Spanish people are pretty pog. That, that's my opinion. Let that go on the record. Check my Discord. This will be a weird one. Oh, well, that's okay. That's fine too, then. All, all Spanish people are pretty pog. That's, what, that's my opinion now. Australia does, in fact, have a Smash Discord. Uh, good hype. Anyway, actually, we're starting with the Diddy. Okay, let's let's see how this goes. This will be some some fun stuff to watch. So, Burrowman's starting with the Byleth. Uh, see, seen him play Byleth throughout the, uh, the the sets tonight. It's really like a bit of a bit hard to to commentate on the just being able to try and figure out what's going through these two players' heads. Oh, what a nice parry there from Brady to pick up the banana right there. Jackson is Element going for the ledge trap. A nice F smash, bringing it to even percent. Going really deep, but uh, unfortunately gets reverse edge guarded by Bro One's Byleth up, up, up B. Oh, the wrong direction of the banana throw, but grabbing it again and just applying some massive pressure here. Brady, though, is just, you know, commanding a little bit right here with uh, PS2 being quite a nice one. And the hard style music just going off in the background, really showing how uh, how intense this can be. And the clean up smash happening once again there for uh, from Jix. Just monkey flipping so much all across the stage, providing that amazing movement we love to see from Jix. But we're back at the ledge trap, and uh, you know, Jix has brought back some of the some of the percent, and getting a nice dash tack into into a bit of the the banana there. Oh, gets caught by the uh, by the up smash. Definitely going for the banana there, I reckon. Oh, and a bit of a taunt from Brady. How is that going to go? We're going to see a taunt to get bodied, or shall we see a bit of? Redemption coming out here, the Byleth versus versus Diddy Kong. How did these two do at Phantom? Um, Jix got seventh, and don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure Brady got thirteenth, but I can't be hundred percent sure. I know it was definitely in top sixteen somewhere, but I'm pretty sure it was something like that. Oh, 
Oh, Jake's playing around, and unfortunately, up smash just doesn't be able to connect there. And F throw, not enough to take it out. Not enough rage, not enough percent. Yes, Brady did actually, yes, he did win the pre-local, which is some cool stuff. But the gimp there of the banana really uh, putting in some work for Jix. Some big damage could happen here. Not enough to down smash into the banana. Brady knows how to eye that very well. Oh, I love them. I love the mix-up of the monkey flip frames before there. And almost getting another gimp with the banana appeal. I love some good stuff happening there, and the and the back of the the monkey flip able to catch it again, almost getting gimped by the banana. This is uh, going out very well for Jix on these edge guards. Try and get the peanut popcorn cancel once again. Both these players at high percent, very much uh, able to take out a stop from either of them. Brady with the banana, but uh, the down tilt back is enough to take it out. Bit of a comeback coming in there from from Jix. Ooh, seems like we're going for a for a music counter pick here. Final Fantasy series, always a always a a drip remix of One Winged Angel. That is some good stuff right there. It's kind of go hard though. I rate this remix. I rate this totally. Hey, we're running it back to PS2 with the drip remix of the One Winged Angel coming in. Brady, uh, Jackson expert, expertly using Monkey Flip on the Egon's platforms is really such a sight to see. Drop the Queensland top five? Oh my. Um, you're going to have to give me some time to think about that one because I've got some ideas but not like all of my top five, you know? You know, this is probably my first time seeing the uh, seeing the Brady Byler, and my gosh, this is a uh, oh, and the spot dodge of the up smash there, not getting the scooping hitbox, and uh, this is quite a sight to see the the Brady Byler. Jake's applying massive pressure there, and the scoop hitbox was just long enough there to pick up, but of course Brady has the banana in hand. Bit of calm before the storm there. Jig's playing safe as they can. But not enough to kill with the side B monkey. The monkey grab, I guess. Bro one in a little bit of the advantage state here, but the rage is all gone and now we're onto a clean new stock. But of course, Jig's expertly playing around the uh, idea of Get it, getting that invincibility out while while they can. Looking pretty even right now. And we see again the, the rocket on the stage and Brady making use of that banana. I can see that Brady is uh Definitely trying to take advantage of the of Bylas very very superior edge guarding abilities on Diddy Kong's very exploitable recovery you could say. But of course Jix is having none of that. Going for a charge on the up smash there, not enough to kill, and making it back to stage.
both matches so far have been so incredibly close. And Bit Jix, once again, are playing that pressure on the shield as they often do. It's just like a, that's a Jix classic right there. Sometimes the best course of action is to do absolutely nothing. I love to see a good grab there. Brady opting for the ledge trap, but runs away a bit and uh, charges an arrow, which is a bit interesting to see there. But obviously, uh, a little scared of Jix on the ledge with Banana, but that back throw is enough to take it out. But at 146, who knows what could happen next. Jix with, his, with their big combos happening right there. All that Banana Peel, not enough to convert into a grab. And Brady finally gets the edge guard that, he, that he's been looking for. That Nair is quite the quite the disjoint to deal with Diddy's barrels, and it really shows. One more of those could uh, certainly take the game. But Jix is having none of it, refusing to get hit. Just playing around really, really fast really aggressively, and Brady trips on the banana somehow. I guess it was dropped with uh, from Diddy Kong's hit stun there. Once again into the uh, banana down tilt, and a grab instead of the up smash. Just not enough to kill. Wants to look for a bit more of a, of a safe way to kill. And Jix takes game two. Oh, we're getting a bit of a prediction from the Twitch chat. This should be very nice to see. Who are we getting? Going Diddy Kong. And Brady is opting for the wolf. Alright, Brady off to a good start. A few nice dash attacks happening there. Really uh, ba baiting out the edge guards and going back in for a ledge trap. It was really nice, but unfortunately, Jix is able to take out stock really quickly in the first 30 seconds. From a simple, like a little, a little mistake like that, looking like Kazia. Jix playing incredibly well, getting that 22% on really quickly. Jix is in a commanding lead right here. Will Brady be able to make the comeback? It's not looking good for him right now, but... As long as he gets into the right headspace, the right mindset, and trade with an up smash, potentially it can happen. I'm pretty sure Jix um, got eliminated to extra. Yeah. That's right. These monkey flips almost going for the for the ledge cancels there, but setting us a nice le nice ledge trap with banana at ledge. Brady's playing a bit more patient now, spacing the aerials, getting those getting those lasers out. Interrupted by the banana, this is quite the uh, ooh, quite the play, but spot dodge is enough to give Jix a free down tilt and uh, takes the stock out. This is going to be a huge combo here from Jix, getting into a massive, massive advantage state. What they're known for. Brady hoping to just find some stray hits, maybe get a, maybe get a great edge guard or ledge trap to get a clean back air or something. And there it is. That's exactly what they were looking for.
And it's just enough that uh, Freddy could make the comeback here, but the F-Smash is able to read the, take out the jump, and uh, Jix takes winner's finals 3-0. So I believe that the next uh, stream is going to be Cruz versus Larry in loser's finals, semi-finals, perhaps. Yes, that's indeed.